Okay, we're going to take a few minutes and talk about our oil core electric skillet and cooker uh, in this case, and uh, just show you, tell you a little bit about them, the construction, and then show you a meal that we're going to make all in one pan at one time. The construction of the oil core pans is very, very unique. What you have are actually two pans, a top pan and a bottom pan, that are then welded together along the seam. And the way it works, if you can envision a top pan and a bottom pan, and in between there is an open space. Now the heating unit is placed in the bottom of the pan, kind of suspended so it's not touching the top or the bottom, and then the, that void is then filled with the silicate oil all throughout the bottom and the sides of the pan. So when I turn this pan up to 250 degrees, 300, 400 degrees, the heating unit is heating the oil. The oil, in turn, heats the pan. And so we get a perfectly even heat all the way throughout. Another very unique thing with these pans, even though they are electric, they will go in water. I just want to make sure you unplug it first. If I put it in water, they will go in a dishwasher. And so it's a very an easy cleanup, and that's the one thing people like with an electric appliance for easy cleanup. The pans themselves also have a full lifetime guarantee. Now, I want to get started. We're going to use what we call the five quart cooker, and just want to show you that there's nothing in the pan. And we're going to start off with our chicken, and I've just cubed up our chicken, it just serves easier. And we're going to throw that in the pan, spread it out in the bottom a little bit. Place the cover on the pan, and we're going to time that for five minutes. When the five minutes is up, we're going to take our red and green pepper, our onion, our dry pasta, and mushrooms, and some stewed tomatoes. We can make the whole meal in one pan. Normally, when you're making chicken cacciatore, you're browning the chicken in one spot, and then you're maybe adding your vegetables in another pan. You're cooking your pasta. In this pan, we're doing everything in one pan at one time. It's much more convenient than what most people are accustomed to. Okay, so our five minutes is up, and as you can see, there's some steam coming out. It's obviously hot. You can see that it's very moist. So we'll just stir this chicken up briefly in the bottom of the pan, and it is time for us to add our remaining ingredients, starting with the eight ounces of pasta, the red, green, peppers and onions, throw that in, put our mushrooms on top, and then on top of all that we'll put the 28 ounces of stewed tomatoes, replace the cover. We'll just wait now for some steam to escape. Uh, when the steam escapes that tells me the pan is up to the proper cooking temperature, at which point we're going to turn it down to simmer, wait another 20 minutes, and dinner will be served. Okay, our 20 minutes is up with the chicken cacciatore, so we're just going to pull the cover off. By the way, you can see how nice and moist it is. And we'll just stir it up a little bit so everything gets mixed up, because we really haven't touched it since we dropped it in the pan about 20 minutes ago. And you can pull a little bit of that out and serve it. Beautiful way to make a one pan dinner without having to sit around and watch your pants cook.